Hey Thingsters, in this video I want to talk about transposed data frames. First of all, I will discuss the shape attribute, which will help us to understand transposed data frames. So we read our CSV file into a data frame here in this line, and then we get the shape of the data frame. And data frame dot T returns the transposed data frame and we take the shape of the transposed data frame. And now let's run this snippet. And you see we get nine rows and four columns for our data frame here. Four columns are country, capital, population and area and the rows are these. And a transposed data frame means that the rows become columns and the columns become rows. That's why the number of rows has become four here. We had four columns, now we have four rows. And the same is true for the number of rows, which was nine. And we have nine columns in, in the transposed data frame. So I will show you now. The data frame is this, as expected, four columns, nine rows for the countries. And now we get a column for each country if we use the T attribute of the data frame. See, now we have nine columns and for each country one column and the rows our country, capital, population and area, which were the columns before. This is what a transposed data frame is.